multi-dimensional arrays in Java, you can create any number of dimensional arrays n. Now to declare that, we just add the additional brackets. Like in this case, we do three dimensional arrays, and this is the first. So we can initialize it this way, right? So let's take a look at how the data being stored. So this is like a box, right? So the first one is so this should refer to row so this is the row and inside this is the columns and this is the depth the whole set here refer to the depth All right so when it said row this is a row right. and here's the column and for here, this is the depth, right? In the 3D formats, like cubics, right? So the first set of data is what? Actually, this is two depth, right? No, uh, one, two, three, four, five, right? Five depth, right? 7.5, 7 7.5, And twenty point five that's a column, so let's look at index. Uh, I'm going to just link that at a small cubic here. So this should refer to what uh, zero, zero, and zero, right? And the first zero is the I, the row here. Second zero is the column J, and third zero is the depth. So this is the unit zero zero so right here, right? So this unit to store. When you look at zero zero, that means refer back to zero zero is seven point five, right? That should store seven point five. That's the first cubic, right? I mean, the cubic from here that I just brought out. And when you go to the columns, that is, this is still what? 20.5 20 is still row 0, right? Column 1, correct? And depth is 0. So, Row zero, column one, depth zero. That should be that second box right there, right? And this second box should store twenty point five. That makes sense. And then you can look at the depth. So this nine point zero actually row what? <coughs> Still row zero, right? Column zero, depth one, which is go to the next box behind that one, right? So that should store nine point zero.
Okay, if you look at a cubic, and 22.5 should be right here. Right, that should be 22.5. And we just keep doing the depth, so that's going to be 15. 15 should be right there. And 33.5 should be right here. And then 13 and 21.5 and then 15 and 2.5 so that's first row and the second row is the same the second stack we need it so that represents this row and the third one and the fourth one and let's go just go on like that make sense So in other words, we can actually draw a box around this. And this is the rows. You can see it's rows, right? Let me clean it up a little bit. If we draw the box around this, So you see there are rows, which is row 0, 1, 2, and zero, one, two, three, four, five. That's six rows, right? So this is like the row that we draw around this. Correct? And row. Right. And then this comma pretty much the stack for the depth. Like each comma that separate. So this is like a depth, right? And there are only two columns, right? So this is the column. And that whole set here with the commas to separate them, that's represent mapping to a depth. Like the index for the depth is zero, one, two, three, and four. Right? That's index for the depth. And here's just index for the column zero and one. Does that make sense? Here's an example of the application for the three-dimensional rays. So we can write a program to color the total score for student in the class. Support the score are stored in a three-dimensional array, name it scores. The first index is scores, refer to a student. The second refers to an exam. And the third refers to a part of exam. The seven student, five exam, and two parts. So IJ, right? And last one, which is the depth, two parts. So represent the score. This is an array to represent the score on the multiple choice part for the I students on the J's exam. And the program will display the total score for each student. So that's how we initialize the two dimensional arrays we just talked about. And we need to do I threading with three loops. 
All right. So since the first row represents students, so we initialize the total score equal to zero after the first iteration. I J is the columns, which is the exams. exams five exams so we iterate to each exam which had two parts so get score for each part and total them and print out the score out all right <clears throat> so that's how we write an application for the student scores And this is another example for weather information. So support the meteorology station records the temperature and humidity at each hour of every day and store the data for the past 10 days in the text file named weather.txt. So each line of the file consists of four numbers. Indicate the day, hour, temperature, and humidity. So your tag is to write a program that calculates the average daily temperature and humidity for the 10 days. So you see these are day 1, 2, day 10, hour 1 until like hour 24, right? Humidity and then temperatures. So you need to write program to read in these text files, right? And the best one, we may want to store them into the three-dimensional arrays. The first arrays represent number of days. The second, which is column number of hours. Right, and the second the last one, the depth, is just the humidity or temperature. So if you look at the shape again, it's going to look like this. So rows is the days, right? Day 1 to day and columns is the hours hour 1 to hour 24 but index we can start from 0 to 23 and 0 to 9 but now I just writing then you see it and the depth <coughs> we just represent what two data set <coughs> which is humidity and temperature right so if we say humidity so we just iterate through that so we could store <coughs> the temperature first and then humidity next so index 0 on the depth and index 1 this could be a temp for index 0 and index 1 is for the humidity so that's how we store data All right <clears throat> so the first little cubic here could store day 1 hour 1 uh, temperature and the second like the depth cubic store day one right hour one like day one this one hour one which I would say zero and zero right but this one is just to show you right one one and then humidity right <coughs> so now we can store data in the term of 10 days, 24 hours, and temperature and humidity using three-dimensional arrays. 
right according to that declaration 